All right, we're going to talk about Kawhi Leonard and uh, Patrick Beverly seeing Montrezl Hero for the first time yesterday in preseason. But first, talk about how good John Wall and DeMarcus Cousin looked last night for the Houston Rockets. Could they look good enough for James Harden to come back? We also going to talk about you, my boy. Y'all, man, it's LaMelo Ball. Hopefully, he could be the best ball brother out there. But, um, but yeah, let's get to it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Check out the NBA Talk playlist for more videos like this. Appreciate the love and support. But, um, but yeah, man, uh, John Wall and DeMarcus Cousin look pretty good. Cousin was hitting threes, taking stuff off, taking the ball off the dribble. Um, but then again, he didn't look as, he never was explosive, but he never looked as explosive as he was when he was for the Pelicans. He was just putting up buckets for the Pelicans, looking amazing, moving good. And, um, uh, it's hard to see if he will be able to kind of, you know, make that transition and, um, a few guys made the transition. I mean, Dominique Wilkins transitioned after blowing his Achilles out. Um, I think he blew it out. Uh, Cousins hurt himself twice. I think he blew out twice, but uh, so did John Wall. And medicine has improved. I mean, we've seen dudes have catastrophic injuries. Sean Livingston, he reinvented himself, reinvigorated himself. So for Demarcus Cousins, for him, he's skilled enough to be a crafty Paul Pierce. You know, and when I say Paul Pierce, not athletic, old YMC game, AA game to get his uh, shot off. But I think for him, it's really going to stand, be standing in the post. You know, beating guys off the post, beating guys, being crafty, you know, playing with effort, you know, I mean, playing with effort on the defensive side of the ball. That's really what's going to light his candle. It really going to make him uh, a, a household name again. I don't want to see him at the three-point line. I want to see him on the block, tearing guys on the block, working his foot, making his foot foot work, kind of playing like you and, you know, hitting that 10 to 15-footer face up when guys playing you for the block or bringing a double team, shooting it. That's what I like to see him, you know, and if he's shooting threes, he's going to be in a pick and pop type of thing with uh John Wall or James Harden if he ever show up. And that's just my God honest assessment. He's gonna have to take his game to another to another level and be a, a block center. He's gonna have to be an old school center. And if Houston gonna do something, he's gonna have to, you know, be give defensive effort if he's gonna be in there. And historically Demarcus Cousins ain't cared about playing defense, you know, since he's been in the NBA. So that's gonna have to change. But to be honest, if he's gonna be taking dudes off the dribble and doing that shit still, he probably gonna Hurt himself again. That's why he hurt himself in, in Golden State. It's good to have confidence to be able to be explosive and take guys off the dribble. But really, he gonna have to kind of be a block player, be an old school center player, and that's who, how we gonna last in the league. And he got to put some effort defensively. But I'm not saying the Rockets going nowhere with James Harden. You know what I'm saying? Because really, we gotta see how good Christian Wood do for them. You know what DeMarcus Cousin bring and John Wall like he bringing it. So I mean. It's a solid team, especially if they would have kept Robert Covington, especially John Wall, the way explosive he looked. I think he a better player than Russell Westbrook, in my opinion. But, you know, then again, he ain't really made that step to do so. I mean, when you talk about him, he just explosive, just as explosive. He be working on his jumper right before he got injured. You know what I'm saying? You know, with Westbrook, he just, he just stat chase. You know, John Wall, he just don't want to give up that ball. And, you know, he got to continue to really craft his game, but he's just as talented as Russ. The problem is he don't go stat chasing like Russ. But last night he had 13 points, flown to the bucket, and Gilbert Arenas said him and uh, KD look good. You know, like they ain't been injured. And that's just medicine. Medicine tends to evolve every now and again. ACL injury, you know, as you say, your career was over with. You can never recover from ACL. You know, and now with Achilles injury, you know, Dominic Wilkins did make it back, was at the early 90s and had a great season after having Achilles injury. But then again, once you had that injury, it's hard for, for people to come back. Today's questions, you know, they saying KD may never be a full time starter again. We got to see you can't put the doctors can't put their limitations on KD or their limitations from another ball player. So, you know, remember John Wall blew his Achilles out twice. People forget that. He claimed that he slipped at the crib and blew it out, and he blew it out on the court. So he looking good, and if an Achilles injury and medicine can evolve where you could just bounce back from Achilles injury, and that's going to be crazy. You know, ACL still, depending on how much you blow your leg out, still can go each way. You know, Joe Burrows for the Cincinnati Bengals, damn near blew out every ligament in his knee. You know, he's a, he could be mobile as well, too, for John Water to be coming back as strong as the way he did in preseason. In the workouts that he was working out with Gilbert Arenas, he definitely might be comeback player in a year. 
You know, DeMarcus Cousin could be comeback player of the year. You know, never know for John for uh, James Harden, it might be the right combination to win a championship. You really don't know, but James Harden, you know, he had the quarantine like so long and this, that, and the third. I just think he had the point where he he wanted to see being a number one player and just be the, the second or third option. But remember, he's the third option to OKC. You know, and they and, and he didn't do his part and they got blew out in the finals, even though the refs helped LeBron out. And I'm gonna continue to say that. You know, he didn't do his job. Had he did his job, they would at least took Miami to seven. And to be honest, Miami wasn't a better team. They just had more experience. The way they won a championship, they had been in the championship the year before. It's just like, you know, James Harden didn't do his part. You know, and Russ was balling and KD was hooping. It's just that without that experience, you know, it was tough. But let's move on. LaMelo Ball, I forget. I think he said he got a $35,000, $50,000 grill in his mouth. And he said that he ain't spending none of his Charlotte Hornet money. And people said, where that money come from for the grill? You got to understand, he signed that Puma deal. He was real sought after a uh, basketball shoe free agent when he was in Australia. People forget that Puma and, and other another uh, shoe company was out will offer him a private jet and all of this and all of that. You know, so basically he signed, well, he did sign with Puma. So he got that endorsement money. You know, and he's saving his 35, excuse me, he's saving his $35 million dollars. He ain't touching his money from the from the Hornets, so I think he had a fifty thousand dollar grill. And um, yeah, somebody told me that them them grills are removable, so his teeth ain't permanently like that. He can remove them like a regular grill. You can remove out out your mouth, but I mean, I guess that's something that he wanted to do for himself. Something that he always been. I, I remember that was just a southern thing to ice out your grill, and now pretty much everybody doing it. But then again, he said he gonna save that money. He ain't gonna spend that money. And then again, he don't come from a a scarce back or a cheap background or a broke background. He lived in Chino Hills. You know, his family had a little bit of money. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't like they grew up broke, but his daddy just hit the jackpot with two big NBA sons. And that's good. You know, you want to see, you kind of want, I want to see them make it. You know, his father talk a lot of junk, but then again, his, they, his name, his kids name stay in rotation. They always stay alive, but that's how you do it. Chad Ochocinco said he never really spurs spurs with his playing money. He brought fake cubic zirconi earrings and chains and, you know, all his excited cars came from endorsement money. So it's good. I remember Michael Carter Williams the year. He won a, a rookie of the year for Philly. He didn't spend none of his uh his salary. Shaquille O'Neal didn't spend none of his his salary his entire career. You know, when you make so much money, you know, with Reebok, Nike, and you know, and all these Gatorade and Parade commercial shit. LeBron James probably got checks he ain't cashed in years. And it's good to see some of these dudes becoming financial, you know, financially literate. That's what you want to see, and that's what I love. So, you know, peace out to him. And I'm gonna be a big fan. Whether he did come to Detroit or didn't, still gonna be a fan of his. But hey, Kawhi Leonard, uh uh Montrez Hill shot the rock yesterday. He said, Hell no. <laughs> And apparently, Patrick Beverly, you know, fell on the floor and it parades his hand so Trez can pick him up. And Trez left him on the ground. And Patrick Beverly slapped him on the butt. So, I mean, at the end of the day, my trust hero, you know, him going to the Lakers, that don't make me look at the Lakers as a better team. Remember, they length with JaVale McGee and Dwight Howard was really the game changer for them. And then also, you had Danny Green and Catavius Caldwell Poe, which they still got to, to lock down in the backcourt. You know, so I, that, to me, the Lakers didn't get no better. I think they got worse, you know, with Montrez Harold and Dennis Schroeder. I think Schroeder is a great player, but then again, Schroeder ain't no great catch and shoot player. You know, he ain't the guy that should play with LeBron. He a guy that need the ball in his hand and doing some things. But I heard the kid for the Clippers uh, from Florida State did well. Um, he from like Canada or whatever. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to it just intensify the Clippers and Laker rivalry. I really don't think the Clippers got a chance to win the championship. I'm thinking more of Denver, more of the L.A., the Lakers, excuse me. But, hey, we'll see if the Kawhi can step it up and Paul George can step it up, which is a big no-no. But, hey, let me know what you guys think about the NBA video. Check out the NBA Talk playlist. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, call, response, to your video request. Keep sharing the videos. All my social media links in the description. Best way to donate Twitter. Uh, best way to donate is Cash App, CJ Good 313 um, PayPal link in the description. If you want to reach out to me for business question, call, response, to your video request, or video request. Or whatever. Sorry. Twitter is the fast way to Facebook and Instagram. We also got a Facebook group. Appreciate the love support. Peace.